Well, for more on this, I'm joined now in the studio by my guest, artist, comedian and activist, Sonny Chan. Hello, thank you very much for being with us on France 24. Uh, how have you been involved in this movement first? Well, actually, I just came back from Hong Kong um, mid-May. And so I, I get a lot of news f from my followers. And I just see that they desperately want me to inform uh, French people because they feel so hopeless and desperate because it's not just about the extradition bill. We just see our rights gradually being taken. That's right, because the protest began over this now suspended extradition bill. It snowballed into something much wider. Is there still a clear unified demand? Yeah, I guess there's still something very clear. We want total withdrawal of this extradition bill because in the past we already saw how the government can pretend to put something back in the drawer and get it back when nobody expects. So we are very, very uh, much more careful. And also there were a lot of um, protesters arrested, so we want to see them free. Now today we've seen China's offices come under attack. Is this the common enemy at this point? Well, I think if Carrie Lam is not brave enough to face the people, we have to find somebody, you know, who represents authorities. And you mentioned Carrie Lam. Do you feel, what do you think of, of the way authorities have handled this uh, crisis so far? Uh, it sounds like a joke. At the beginning, she said that she felt she was like the mother of all Hong Kong people, which is really not very professional. And they never really faced the problem. They just, you know, try to find a way to make us, make protesters look bad. And is there, are there clear protest leaders who could talk to authorities? Well, I, I guess after what happened in 2014 with the Umbrella Movement, we think that is not really a solution because when we try to talk to the um, governor, the young people just got arrested afterwards. You know, it's just a way to say, arrest me. So now we're not that naive anymore. And this time, everybody in Hong Kong feels very concerned. A few days ago, uh, a lot of the um, um, elderly people, they organized a demonstration to show their um, support to the young people. So it really shows that it's not about a young people movement. It's not just one generation anymore. Not anymore. And does Carrie Lam need to leave, to leave to, to, for this protest to come to an end? Well, if you can't have dialogue because you're afraid of being arrested as a protest leader, then what's, what's the next step? Well, I guess Carrie Lam is not, the, is not very free, neither. So I guess she has, to, she has to find a solution for something that she might have created. And so when you say that you, you've been asked by your followers to, to sort of carry the message of, of what's going on in Hong Kong, what's the main thing you want to put across? Um, I remember that in uh, 1989, when you were still very young, um, there was the um, uh, massacre on Tiananmen. And it was so touching to see how much the Westerners helped. And on the um, National Day in Paris, on Champs-Élysées, some of the Chinese dissidents were invited to march with the, with the French army. And I think we just need that kind of solidarity to see that we have common values. Sonny Chan, thank you very much for thank having you. spoken to us. Thank you. Now, the UK's Stena Impero tanker and its 23 